Hi, hello, it is me, and uh, I'm here to um, introduce this article published in 2016, Treating Child and Adolescent Anxiety Effectively. So this is a systematic review, and uh, I'm curious what they really include in this review, because it's a very large topic, like basically anxiety in both child and adolescent. So let's see what are the important uh, predictors of anxiety and uh, how to treat them. Three, so it says three questions were addressed. The treat, is the treatment more effective than passive controls? Is there evidence that the treatment is superior to or non-inferior? Active controls? Um, what is the quality of evidence for the treatment? Specify, specified inclusion criteria and identified high quality systematic reviews. Uh, so they say like some high quality, some not, combination therapy, um, high quality, randomized controlled trials, support treatment with, so the uh, information is only included here I guess, so high quality randomized controlled trials, support treatment with cognitive behavioral therapy and medication. Uh, findings for combination and web computer based treatment are encouraging. Further studies are required. Head to head comparison of active treatment options are needed because I think when the topic is anxiety, most studies focus on uh, cognitive behavioral therapy uh, and uh, medication. And I think some medications can really solve the anxiety problem, but there are consecutive problems because once you totally, uh, completely uh, remove anxiety from your life, then it's also awkward a bit, right? Because you're supposed to be anxious in some cases, in some, at some level, and it makes you feel awakened, and it makes you focus on your targets, but it shouldn't be very stressful, it shouldn't be a great burden on you. And I'm curious how, well, how lengthy the study is, it's quite a... It's quite a short study, I guess. So I think, and for for a study uh, with this title, I expect it to be uh, more, I guess. And uh, what else I can say? The authors are from Canada, and it's interesting. Many studies have been investigated, and you, if you are more interested, then you can read the introduction part and the um, conclusion. And it seems the main conclusion is here, and like and uh, CBT and uh, medication and that's all I want to say thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one bye bye